Sarah, Cynthia, Sylvia Stout would not take the garbage out. Poem by Shel Silverstein. Sarah, Cynthia, Sylvia Stout would not take the garbage out. She'd scour the pots and scrape the pans, candy the yams and spice the hams. And though her daddy would scream and shout, she simply would not take the garbage out. And so it piled up to the ceilings, coffee grounds, potato peelings, brown banana, rotten peas, chunks of sour cottage cheese. It filled the can, it covered the floor, it cracked the window and blocked the door with bacon rinds and chicken bones, drippy ends of ice cream cones, prune pits, peach pits, orange peel, gloppy glumps of cold oatmeal, pizza crusts and withered greens, soggy beans and tangerines, crusts of black burned buttered toast, grisly bits of BC roasts. <coughs> Grizzly bits of beefy roasts. The garbage rolled on down the hall. It raised the roof. It broke the wall. Greasy napkins, cookie crumbs, globs of goopy bubble gum, cellophane with green baloney, rubber, blueberry, macaroni. Rubbery, blueberry, macaroni. Peanut butter caked and dry, curdled milk and crusts of pie, mouldy melons, dried up mustard. Eggshells mixed with lemon custard. Cold French fries and rancid meat. Yellow lumps of cream of wheat. Yellow lumps of cream of wheat. At last the garbage reached so high and finally it touched the sky. And all the neighbours moved away and none of her friends would come to play. And finally, Sarah. And finally, <coughs> and finally, and finally, Sarah Cynthia Stout said, OK, I'll take the garbage out. But then, of course, it was too late. The garbage reached across the state, from New York to the Golden Gate. And here in the garbage she did hate. Poor Sarah met an awful fate that I cannot right now relate. Because the hour is much too late. But children, remember Sarah Stout, and always take the garbage out.